Hi guys and welcome once again to the class style. Guys, today I have another wall hanger that I want to share with you and I already uploaded several, uploaded several already. But this is the last of the drawer piece, um, any small pieces. I already installed a picture hanger to the back. I did went in with grey paint and a bit of a gold and I sanded it down to get this effect. I have this as an electrical piece that they use to put up electrical pipes with. I have a whole lot of these. But the thing with this one, it has to be um, drilled from the top edge because of how it's shaped. And I'm going to be drilling that right now. So I'm just taking a screw and getting it drilled into the piece. And like I said, it has to be to the top edge because of how the hook is shaped. But I have a lot of these and I decided, look, let me use it. I don't want it to go to waste, so I am putting it to good use. I have some chalk paint here that I will also be using that I had mixed. And I'll just um, paint the little hook with that. So this is how it looks. And I'm happy with how it looks. And we're going to take it inside. Now... I have I have a lot of these that I print, you know, um, so that I can use it for my DIYs. And I'm going to do a long time method of of transferring the words onto the board. I am just going to use my pencil, and I'm going to shade over all the letters, like so. And we used to do this a lot in, our, in school and, and I still do it. I don't have any modern, you know, machines and stuff like some of you guys. So I tend to like the old time ways. So I'm just shading the whole thing. And what I do next, I'll just place it where I want the letters to be, the words to be. And I'll just trace it with my pencil. I'll trace all the words. Make sure they all get printed on the underside, like so. And I'll just trace it over so that I can see it much better. And this is how it's looking. Wash your hands. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to use my Sharpie marker. And I'm going to outline. I have another marker. I'm going to use the thinner one first and outline the letters with this one and then i'm going to go in with the sharpie and color in all where i have to color in so like i say i love using this method i use it a lot you know with most of my crafts that i do guys thank you for stopping by i hope you are enjoying yourself please you see that notification bell do hit it so that you can know every time i upload a video do hit that subscribe button and make sure you become one of my friends and family and i welcome the new my friends that i have made and to all my older friends welcome again so this is how it turned out i think it turned out lovely it says wash your hands this is going into the guest toilet and bathroom and I did spray paint this black instead of the white. I think it looks more elegant. And this hole, it isn't going to bother me, but I'm going to fill it anyway with some um, filler. And this is how it's looking. So, moving on, guys. So, what we are doing here, I have four pieces of twine that I'm going to be making a macrame design from. And I have cut the pieces in 60 inches length you can do what lengths you want and i have four crisscrossing each other meeting in the center so i'm just forming some u shapes with the each section and you can follow along to see what i'm doing and it's going to form a u on each section i'm just bending it on top of the other to form that u shape and the last one i'm going to insert it into the first u shape that i bent i'm going to Pull it tightly to form a knot in the center. Now this is the bottom. This is going to be the bottom of the actual piece. So you can pull your knot tightly. Now I have 
the four pieces, four sections, the four groupings, and they're each going to have 16 pieces of string on it. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm pairing them off. So, from each group, I'm taking two strings, and this is how it's going to look. The next step, I'm going to form some knots. Now, my knots, I'm just eyeballing it. If you want it to measure, you can measure how close you want your knots to be. Mine is about one and a quarter inches from the knot. And I'm going to do the knots on each of these sections. Now, you will, when you're pairing them off, end up with two of the strings in the same section. That does not matter. Um, just continue to knot as you go along on each piece. So here we have <coughs> all the pieces being brought together. Now you're going to take one string from one group and one from another. And we're going to do the same thing like we did before. So we're pairing them off. One string from one group, one from another. And you're going to tie the knot again. Here again, I'm averaging. You can use your ruler and measure if you choose to. But I find eyeballing it is pretty simple. And just continue doing this until you get all the layers together in the group. Once all is used up and you have formed all the layers, you just continue on pairing off from another group with another and continue knotting. So you're taking one from one group and one from another and just knotting them together. And of course, once you've reached with the amount that you need, you're going to stop. Now, I already averaged where I want it to be, but I am going to just put it on the bottle. This is a bottle I had there already. So once it's on the bottle, I'll fit it and continue um, stringing it and tying it off on the bottle. Now, you can do the whole procedure exactly on the bottle, but I like to do things a little differently. So I'm just continuing knotting and once it fits up to where I want it to, I am going to do something slightly different also. So I just have a couple more nuts to put in for it to finish off. This is how it looks. And what I'm thinking, instead of doing it another way, I thought that I will just tie a piece of twine around the bottle. I'm doing a slack knot. Now this one I'm going to show you. I can do it either before or after. So what I want to do in each of the sets, I'm going to pull out one of the strings and leave one under the, the rope, the string. So I'll continue to pull one from in each set because I want to tie it off to secure it to the top of the piece. So in each set, I'm going to do the same thing and continue knotting each piece with its partner. So it's going to look like this. So I'm just continuing and I'm going to finish off the set. The idea I have for it, this also is to create a handle from two of the existing remaining strings. So I am just going to finish knotting this off. I double knot it so it, it's going to be secured. And then I'm just going to leave two strings off. What I will do with the two strings, I'm going to make a handle for the top. Just by passing one of the strings under the existing piece that I put around the bottle. And then I'm just going to tie it with its partner. Just like how I did the others. So I'm just going to secure it with a knot. Like this. And I'm going to secure it again, make sure it's nice and tight. And what I'll do is just clip off all the excess. So it's looking like this. I will leave two sets of strings hanging down. And I am going to cut all the rest off. And I'm going to cut it at least three quarter inch, leaving enough so that I, what I'm going to do with the pieces that are hanging down is just wrap it around to secure those ends in place and i'm going to use my glue gun to also secure it in its place 
So I'll just continue to wrap it around and secure the ends with the glue gun. And this is how it's looking, guys. I think it's so cute. This is the handle. What I'm thinking for the handle, I'm just going to use an extra piece of string. And I'm going to wrap it around the handle, securing the two pieces together. And giving it a little more body. And I'm going to secure it with the glue gun to the other side. And wrap the excess around and use the glue gun to secure that in place. And that is going to be it for this particular bottle. Now the other one I'll be using for the flower to hang on the wall hanging is slightly different to this one. And it turned out so nicely guys. I'm loving this. Now I just remove the tape from it. And this is the other one. What I did with this one, I did not wrap any twine around the mouth of it. So this one remained just like this and the handle is just a bit longer. I did put my flowers in it. This is a, a flower that can live in water. And this is how everything looks. I think it turned out so lovely. My wall hanging. Um, plaque for my bath, my guest bathroom. I truly love the macrame styling, the handcrafted um, decor style that goes into a piece. I, I have done this since I was very small. And this is the other one. I just have it on the entrance table to the guest bathroom through the corridor. And I just place a little light on top of it. Now I can hang it if I wanted to. I can put twinkle lights and you know such in it but i choose to do it this way so guys i thank you once again for stopping by with me and letting me share my presentations with you i hope you enjoy and i'll see you quite soon guys bye for now catch you later